Hey everyone! So I'm noticing a trend spurring in the marketing world. Advertisers are taking things that are typically deemed more feminine and then masculinizing it so that they can sell it to manly men. There's loofahs and then there's shower tools for men. There's healthy cereal and then there's some man crunchies for us guys. There's clothing irons, and then there's a smoothing tool made with real man iron. And the list goes on and on with soup and diet soda, paint samples, candles. You want me to use this shit? I only use razors infused with danger. Ah! Manly. So never mind the fact that all these products that are deemed sort of feminine are things that can be used by all genders. It's more socially acceptable for women to use more masculine products than it is for men to use feminine products. When a woman takes on more masculine traits or has a more masculine job, when she wears men's clothes, it's seen as way more acceptable than if a man were to say wear women's clothes, get a manicure, or doing more female jobs like taking care of children, nursing, fashion, Pairing men with femininity is seen as like an insult, like you're lowering yourself. We have women doing masculinity, not an insult to women. I think it's safe to say that there might even be some fear of the feminine. I've heard this phenomenon referred to in some circles as femphobia. So this aversion to the feminine in marketing and products is one of the outcomes of femphobia. Another outcome is that anytime someone who is perceived as a man is aligning with anything feminine-y, it is perceived as a direct threat to Mr. Manly Man's masculinity. You can be aggressive, you can be intolerant, you can be hateful, but don't you dare wear a dress. Or so comes you're a fag, you're a pussy, and the violence. I love me some masculine traits, but this hyper-masculinity, man, I just can't do it. Another example is that sometimes in progressive circles, women who are perceived as very feminine are looked down upon. Oh, they're so oppressed, you know, they've internalized sexism. And while I think those sentiments are complex, part of it is coming from a place where we have learned to see feminine things as bad. I myself have participated in this and shamed other women for being very feminine. But this was a mistake on my part because it's not the feminine stuff that is the problem. The problem is the expectation that anybody who is perceived as a woman dress a certain way, wear a certain kind of clothes, behave a certain way, whatever. The problem is that feminine things are only for people with vaginas and boobs. The problem is that feminine things are seen as less valuable than masculine things. The problem is the enforcement and the shaming when you're not feminine. Rejecting the feminine can be an important critique of oppressive gender roles, so long as that critique doesn't turn into actual hatred of femininity. Pushing back against this idea that men need to be super masculine and that there's something wrong with feminine expression in men is a great service to both men and women. It's just silly to me that men and boys who take an interest in makeup or more feminine clothing are somehow gay or mentally ill. That kind of black and white thinking? Girl, that is so 4000 BC. All right, my loves, go out there, embrace your femme side. I will see you next Thursday. Mwah.